Welcome to Panther Cave, an exemplary repository of Pecos River-style rock art dating back to a time before borders. The cave, actually a rock shelter that nature cut into the bluffs, contains painted images, also known as pictographs, created as early as 4,000 years ago. It is very difficult to reach. Private boat provides the only practical approach to its location, near the gorge where Seminole Canyon joins the Rio Grande. In an effort to better understand these ancient works and to preserve and share this monumental site more easily, Texas Parks and Wildlife partnered with Shumla Archaeological Research and Education Center and the National Park Service to explore a bold new way to study cultural sites such as this. The project, to create a three-dimensional digital model incorporating all relevant geospatial, numerical, historical, and visual data unfolded in phases. First, researchers assessed the rock shelter, about 100 feet of interior rock wall, to determine the time and cost of the overall project. The next step was data collection, which involved extensive photography and laser scanning techniques. The Shumla team took over 5,000 digital photographs, capturing the rock shelter and its images from every possible angle for 3D viewing. Using a camera equipped with instant image enhancement, they were even able to find pictographs that cannot be seen by the naked eye. During this phase, researchers also collected other types of data to study, like climate patterns, insect activity, and geology. They also needed to understand how the pictographs interacted with the features of the rock shelter itself. The team then took all of their findings back to a lab, where they assembled their pictures and created sketches of the pictographs. The 3D model that you see here accounts for all visual and numeric data gathered. During the recording phase, workers found over 250 figures of three types, anthropomorphs, or human-like figures, zoomorphs, or animal-like figures, and enigmatics, which means that they have no similarities to modern forms. Two large panthers, namesakes for the site, stand at each end of the wall of images. Researchers believe that they are meant to frame the mural that stands between them. Symmetry like this is common in the rock shelter. Researchers have determined that this large anthropomorph was intentionally placed under the arch, perhaps to frame the figure. Calcium carbonate, deposited by a large water seep, is just one type of damage that can obscure or degrade the pictographs. This seep, however, probably predates the rock art, which was likely painted around it. Many parts of the rock shelter feature overlapping images, which posed a distinct challenge to researchers. It took many hours and many trained eyes, along with some digital enhancement, to discern the individual figures. The colors themselves were produced from various minerals, mixed with binders such as animal fat. Many figures, like this one, are done in multiple colors. It is hypothesized that these multicolored figures with interior designs represent deities, ancestors, mythical figures, or people going through ritual death or transformation. Some believe that serpentine arches represent axis mundi, or portals to other worlds. A rectangle with two legs descends from this arch, possibly a human emerging from one such portal. Preservation requires an understanding of how the site has changed over time and how it may yet change. The 3D model will be a snapshot that holds insight into Panther Cave's past, present, and future. It can help scholars and preservationists to find what meaning the pictographs held for their ancient creators and to prevent future damage. Most importantly, the project demonstrates a specific method for the documentation and preservation of other historical sites around the world.